PSL chairman Dr. Ivan Corzo will be elected unopposed for yet another term next week, which will extend his already 21-year reign even further. At 76 years old, Corzo continues to be trusted by sponsors who continue to pump even more money into the professional arm of South African football. Proof positive is the increase in prize money for the winners of the new Betway Premiership. Benjamin Lashuru was at the PSL headquarters today and filed this report. The inaugural Betway Premiership winners will receive a whopping 20 million rand in prize money, up by 5 million rand from the previous sponsors. The announcement was made by PSL chairman Dr. Irvin Koza at their Parktown headquarters earlier today, rather belatedly with the new season already seven games in. One of the things that you forgot to announce subject to some kind of internal you know, discussion with the executive committee was the prize money. Now today I'm going to announce the prize money of the winner only. The winner of the Betway Premiership number one position, 20 million rands. Koza has been influential in bringing sponsors to the PSL since taking over in 2003. And now with the 76-year-old set to stand unopposed for yet another term, he's admitted that it was a mandate from the partners to keep the structure and confidence within the league. Sometimes they can have a wish, but the wish can go here to there, it doesn't end, because the members there, you know what they want, and you know with the elections, we just saw now what's happening in America. And they spent $6 billion, you know, for the campaigns. But then the PSA is no campaign of the money sort, you know, it's a campaign about, you know, what is good for them, what they did not like in the last term and things like that. So we just wait for the outcome and see what happens. The Supremo also spoke of the monthly grants to the 32 PSL clubs as one of the success stories. The Premier Division clubs receive a 2.5 million rand grant monthly, while those in the NFD get a boost of 500,000 rand. When I spoke about that in 2003, you know, there was no grant. I remember some of the members of the Board of Governors, they say, is he met? Where is he going to get the money from? But I realized at the time, you know, and that's why I want to appreciate, you know, the support, you know, the cooperation of Dr. Mtawung, because we sat down in a meeting, the two of us, to discuss the situation. Say how we can energize the league uh, to make sure that it's competitive and unpredictable. The PSL Exco is set to sit next week on the 13th of November to elect new representatives with several names, including Koza, remaining the same for yet another term. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Benjamin Lishuru at the PSL headquarters in Parktown.